Good evening, guys. I'm just waiting for the rest to join us. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi, good evening. We're about to start. How are you? Okay, doing? I'm doing great. What about you, Osmin? I am fine. Here in my home. Great. So you're not working today? No, morning, working. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, great. When did you finish? When did you finish your schedule? Um, I, you, I finished. When did you finish? Yesterday or today? Yeah. Today. Today. Today in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you're starting again tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. okay, Maria Estela, we cannot see your face. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Maristela. How are you? Good, teacher. Very good. Good. Okay, great. I turn up this thing, maybe. No, I feel like. No, okay. So, um, how are you, Rosalina? Good evening. Nice. Great. Thanks. Nice audio, guys. Nice audio. That was really good. Really good. So how was your day today? Busy, boring, happy? Busy. 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 It's Good Wednesday. Good evening, teacher. And it's yeah. Wednesday. Good evening, Patricia. And it's busy. I mean, it's, it's Wednesday. Two more days, right? Two more days. Okay, okay, okay. Sulma is joining. Hi, Sulma. Good evening. Hi, Sulma. Hello, Carla. Good evening, teacher. How many? We are 11. Just waiting a little bit. What, what week is this? Is this our second week? Who's counting? Let me see. We started, we started on Tuesday the 13th. One week, two weeks. This is our, this is our third week. Wow. Okay, guys, this is our third week. Let's check the attendance before we move on. Remember to turn on your cameras and have your names, your full names. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present teacher. Good Thank evening. You. Good evening. Darwin Edgar Bayala Leiva. Present teacher. Fidel Coreas Pascual. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. José Ángel Pereira Romero. Carla Vanessa García de Pérez. 
Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. María Estela Varela Velázquez. Present. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Thank you. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Hi. Ok, Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher, good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía viene de camino. Present, good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Mejiva Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Thank you. Bien, eh, para comenzar, un regaño. No, bueno, sí, un regaño. Hey, este, si ¿sí saben, eh, estas becas son auspiciadas por USAID y Insaform, ¿no? Eh, existen procesos bien burocráticos dentro de todas las instituciones de gobierno y eh, burocráticos en el buen sentido de la palabra en cuanto a las becas, ¿no? Este, ¿Por qué lo menciono? Porque son muy cerrados en ciertos aspectos, como en tu asistencia, por ejemplo. Cada minuto cuenta y, y eso queda grabado en Zoom. Entonces, de Zoom se, se extrae un reporte para, se genera un reporte para eh, al final del modo de cada módulo calcular la cantidad de minutos, no horas, que tú te has conectado. ¿Ok? Entonces, si tú entras tarde, si te salís antes, igual, va sumando minutos. Que ¿okay? al final tiene que cuadrar con X cantidad de minutos y para poder continuar, ¿ok? So, se lo digo, eh, no está en mi control, eso es parte de la administración, pero se lo digo porque no los quiero perder, ¿ok? Eh, no quiero que ustedes se queden sin su beca y pues después enterarme, si yo no sigo con ustedes, que pues ya nos siguieron por ese motivo, ¿verdad? Yo sé que a veces es bien difícil por el trabajo. Y ante todo, ahorita yo creo que todas las empresas están bastante ocupadas en ese sentido. Después de recuperarse de la economía y todo, ¿no? Como quedamos, es bien delicado. Pero los animo a que traten en lo posible de estar acá, ¿ok? Good, so let's start. Where were we? Where were we? <laughs> Segundo regaño, necesito que hablen, ¿ok? Ya, soltemos la lengua, equivoquémonos, perdamos el miedo al, al fracaso, ¿ok? Tenemos que equivocarnos, sino que estoy haciendo aquí, ¿ok? Good, so where were we? Les pregunta en cada clase, ¿qué quiere decir, Michelle? Última. ¿A dónde nos quedamos? ¿Dónde estábamos, vean? Ajá. Estamos, ajá. ¿Y por qué lo hago así? Porque siempre, esto es una frase que puedes ocupar con alguien. Okay. Estabas conversando con alguien, te interrumpieron, fuiste a hacer algo y regresaste. Decís, where were we? ¿En qué nos quedamos? ¿Dónde estábamos? Okay. Page. Page. Page 13. Page 13. Mm, that was page 30. You say, call, call. Can we talk about the polite call question? You. With and good mind. Polite requests with could and would. Very good. So, could you do me a favor? Could you do me a favor? Okay, easy. Could you do me a favor? Translate, Asalia. Could you do me a favor? <laughs> could you do me a favor? Nelson? No. Ajá, let's see, let's see. Nelson, could you do me a favor? ¿Me, me puedes hacer un favor? Sí, no, podrías hacerme un favor. Very good. Good. Paper. Oh. Could you do me a favor? Podrías hacerme un favor. Very yes. good. Yes, of course. Could you speak like English? It. Okay, Melanie, could you speak English? Yes, I could. Translate. Yes. Come on. Could you speak English? Yes, I do. Yes, I can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I could. Translate. What am I asking, Melanie? I'm just testing, guys. Could you speak English? Spanish? 
que si hablo. ¿Podrías? Hablar en español. ¿Hablar? Yes. Yes. Inglés. Ok. Yes, speak. Yes, I can, I could speak. I could speak. Ok. Um, Ana Patricia. Yes, teacher. Would you mind telling me the time? ¿Puedes darme la hora? Algo así. Mm -hmm. Would you mind? What is would you mind? Remember? Te importaría. Te importaría. Te importaría. Te importaría. Darme la hora. Excellent. Giving me the time. Okay. Would you mind giving me the time? Very good. Remember, with will you mind, you use ing, right? Good? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So next, yeah. Flor de Maria, would you mind speaking louder? Would you mind speaking louder? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Translate. <laughs> <laughs> Translate to Spanish. What am I saying? Would you mind speaking louder? Podrías hablar alto. Más alto. Huh. Good. Great. Okay. So there we go. There we go. You understand. Okay. Good job. Okay. Now, I mean, I want to make sure. Do you understand these two topics? Could you base verb? Could you, base verb, would you mind ING? We got it? Okay. Or do you have any questions? Okay. Está claro, esos dos formas de hablar tienen preguntas. Pregunto porque vamos a algo nuevo, ¿eh? A otra cosa. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Selena, no? Okay. It's okay. Uh, yo voy Melody, a estudiarlo. Melody. Yo lo voy a estudiar porque como ayer este, ya mucho verde. Basta Entonces, con ver el video. Pero... Hay que ver el video de nuevo. Sí, lo vi, pero en mi trabajo este, había momentos que así, ¿verdad? Distractores, no. Ok. Sí, Entiendo, correcto. comprendo. Pero sí, sí entendí bastante. Super. Excelente. Ok, bien. Hagamos el mayor esfuerzo, señores, si queremos aprender rápido. Okay, so let's move. Let's go to page 31. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about page 31. Oops, this was yesterday, so page 31. And as usual, como siempre, as usual, we're going to start with an opening question. Well, no, the objective. Rosalina, will you please... Would you please? No me gusta. Ah, me <laughs> What am I saying, Rosalina? Would you please? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, okay, react, react, react to, react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. Excellent. Okay, let's check something here really quick. Uh -huh. Again, Rosalena? React to appropriate uh, and... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Do it again. React okay. to... React to appropriate here <laughs> and inappropriate. Okay. Behavior. I repeat, behavior. Behavior. Uh -huh. Behavior at work. Behavior at work. Behavior. Your, 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 your behavior. Okay. At behavior. Work. Beer. Okay. Very at work. good. Behavior at work. So how do you react? Thank you very much, Selena. How do you react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior? Okay. What comes to your mind? What is appropriate behavior and what is inappropriate behavior? Can you give me an example? Anybody? An example of appropriate behavior? What is the meaning of behavior? Comportamiento. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So, appropriate, comportamiento, and inappropriate. Use, use uh, so, salutation. 
Ah, to use salutations. <laughs> to greet. Great. To greet In, your co workers. Inappropriate. inappropriate um, inappropriate. Repeat, inappropriate. When, inappropriate. Mm -hmm. When uh, never, never says is please. Oh. Mm -hmm. When I, I, when I, I, what is Give, give. Mm -hmm. See that? Ask. Give this. Ask. Ask this. The thing, thing. Teacher, other example can be use offensive words to express. Using profanity at work. Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. Using profanity at work. Profanity? profanity. Malas palabras. Ah, okay. Using profanity, okay. profanity language. Using profane, okay. profane or profanity language. Okay, when people don't mind their manners, Maria Stella, when people don't mind their manners and they don't when, say please and thank yeah, you, yeah. right? Yeah, but uh, other uh, loud, very, very loudly. Oh, speak loudly. Speak loudly. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Unnecessarily. I have my doubts about this spelling of this word. Unnecessarily. 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 Uh, I need to check that word. Check that word. How do you say innecesariamente? Someone. Unnecessarily. Mm. When it's not needed. When you don't need to, I'm just gonna say when you don't need to. Okay, yeah, that's inappropriate behavior. Speak loudly in closed spaces. That's not okay. Um, okay. Swear. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, swears the boss wrong. One more time, answer. The boss grunk. Oh, the boss? The, the boss grunk. Drunk? Yes, yes. Like that? No, wrong. No, wrong. 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 Yeah. Like that, wrong. Yes. yes. Wrongly. Ajá, uh -huh. contestarle al jefe incorrectamente. Yeah? Yes. Excellent, Melanie. Yes. Answer the balls wrongly. So all of these are inappropriate. <laughs> Yes, hey, but what yes. about appropriate behavior? Just saying uh, hello, good morning. Be, is inappropriate. Being, uh, be nice to customer. Okay, good manners with customers. It's inappropriate. Uh huh. Osmin, Osmin. Okay, uh, it's inappropriate. Uh, the co-workers not have communication. Oh, when co-workers don't have communication. Have no communication. Okay, when you don't talk, when you don't talk to your co-workers, you don't socialize. When you don't socialize, that is bad behavior. Okay, good. Now let's contrast, let's contrast this. Vamos a contrastar. Let's contrast this. Does your, does, your, does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? What can or cannot, what can you or you cannot do in your company? you can or you cannot do in your company. Uh-huh. What things you can do? At the company, there are behavior, but 
uh, around the, the clothes. About, uh, about clothes? Yeah. How to dress? Yeah. How to so dress. There, there is a dress code. Oh, yes. It's a dress code, yes. There is a dress code in the company, okay? Yeah. Formal? Yeah. Is it formal dress code? No, no necessary, but you can okay. use you can use jeans. You can uh, how do you say roto? Uh, okay, but not sw sworn. Hold on, ripped, <laughs> not oh. ripped. Okay. Ripped jeans. Ripped jeans, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, not ripped jeans. Mm -hmm. It's inappropriate, okay? Yeah. What about what about short skirts for we ladies? Yeah. Short skirts? Can you wear short skirts at the mm -hmm. office? No, you can wear sandals. You cannot or you can you can you cannot wear sandals. You can not wear sandals, okay. Especially now after COVID, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So these are examples. There's a dress code. So that's a regulation about your behavior, dress code. Okay, so I'm going to split the class right now and you're going to name three examples of unacceptable behavior. Repeat, unacceptable. 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 Behavior. Behavior. Okay, you say unacceptable. 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 Behavior. 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 Es una O, eh, pero suena suave. Behavior. In your company. Okay, so you need to name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company, okay? Be creative, what is not okay? For example, in my company, it's not okay for the teachers to go out with students, mm -mm. okay? For the teacher to have a girlfriend, another teacher, you know, two teachers, uh -uh. relationships, relationships among coworkers, no, no, okay? Uh, what else? Oh, a teacher cannot take calls while the class is on. You cannot check your WhatsApp or take a call during the class. No, no. It's an appropriate behavior, okay? So let me split you and you have to come up with three examples of inappropriate, unnecessary. I was right. Thank you, Rosalena. I had the proper spelling. Mm, unnecessary. Okay. Disrespect. Disrespect others. Yeah. What about? You're training. Denigrating. Yeah. Being racist. <gasps> uh oh. Okay. So let me split you and share your comments with your classmates. Okay. Share your comments with your classmates about inappropriate behavior. Three sentences. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hi. Good evening. Okay. Hello. Working hours, office hours. Okay. Oh, business hours. Business hours. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, in my case, uh, um, um, unacceptable uh, behavior is um, watch videos 
Um, is to watch or is watching videos? <laughs> it's to watch videos during <laughs> business hours. During, uh huh. During. What about? Okay. What about you? What about? <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> you can sleep. Work. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not acceptable. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Give your own examples. Come on, Angela. Yes, Angela. Sandra. Uh, Rafael. They're so quiet, Rafael. What's going on? Um, in my work. Come on. Ya te me estabas haciendo ruido y qué pasó? In my work is. <laughs> Continue talking. Okay, keep going, guys. Smoking fumar. Smoking, fumar. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. In my work. <laughs> Make the sentence. Smoking. You cannot smoke. You cannot smoke in the office. Not a smoking. In the office. No, not a smoking in my office. Mm -hmm. You cannot smoke. You cannot smoke in the office. Okay, what other things you cannot do in the office? In my case, I work at a bank and it's very important. We not, we, no, we not share a contact of clients of data of a account numbers the confidentiality to uh, so it is very important not to share not to share the customer's data customers yes. uh, customers data that's yes. the way okay sensitive information yep I work with debit cards, credit cards, and prepaid cards every day. So yeah. I know, I know about that. I change pins every day. You know, yeah. I reissue cards, check balances. Uh, in English, <laughs> nothing. It's the same thing. Uh huh. In my company, it is forbidden to be late. Good. It is forbidden to be late. Aunque algunas veces te Sometimes I do it. Traffic. Traffic. Due to traffic. Yes. Due yes. to traffic. Okay, Nelson. What you cannot do? What is inappropriate in your workplace? I told... Uh, my colleague that in my company is inappropriate or um, install other program in my computer. Install other programs in your computer in the company's computer. In the, in the company because the the the, the jobs is is more security the the data data. The data is more secure uh -huh, in the company. The, okay. the information. The information. information. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so continue. Remember, you have to name three examples of unacceptable behavior. So you can say it is unacceptable to bring family members to the company. It is unacceptable to bring uh, family members to the company. It is unacceptable to get to work drunk. Mm. Right? That's a terrible behavior, <laughs> okay? <laughs> For example, it is unacceptable to arrive late. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. It is unacceptable. 
Hello, teacher. Hello. Teacher, teacher, I have a question. How do you say acosar? Stock. Yes, stock. Ahorita, ahorita. Stalk. Give me just one minute, okay? Allow me just one minute. Okay. In my case, in my company, we can't stalk my my coworkers woman. Acosar a las compañeras. Ah, exacto. Because we have one polite. Una política de Hay una política. Se me ha olvidado. Hay una política de, de prevención. Sí. We can stop with. Uh, uh, Sorry, guys. Just had a little emergency. Okay. So. Look at the example. It is unacceptable to arrive late. What else is unacceptable? Inacceptable. No, what else? ¿Qué más? Uh, okay. Is unacceptable. Uh, I can sell, can sell confidence information about Salvadorian. Oh, with, customers? With, data, with, customer information. With, uh, mm -hmm. with respect about do it, but it's sentenced with jail. You can go to jail, yeah. It is penalized, yeah, to share personal data. That's right. Okay, good. Keep trying, do two more. It's, you, you have to make three examples, okay? Okay. Uh, Okay, it, show me what you got. Informal. Informal. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. Okay. It is unacceptable to arrive late at work. Mm -hmm. Continue. It is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. Um, unacceptable. Chat. Chat and chatting, message, chatting and messaging. during during office hours. During office hours. Okay. Yes. What is what else is unacceptable? It is unacceptable listening listen to, to music. music. In the hour. <laughs> listening to music during office in, hours. In free time. <laughs> no, just on your free time. On your free time is allowed. Okay. okay? What about? <laughs> it's inacceptable. It's drink, drink. To drink? Okay. Drink yes. liquor. Liquor. It's an, to drink liquor. liquor. It is appropriate. It is uh -huh, inappropriate. Unappropriate inappropriate behavior. behavior. Come on, girls. Mayra, Carla, Osmin, Edwin. In company is inacceptable. Uh, playing hours work. Playing during working hours. Playing during office hours. No, yeah. During uh, office it, hours. Um, Unacceptable. Reading. I'm reading. That mm -hmm. book. Reading. Oh, yeah. reading books during office hours. It's not okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Other example, maybe it is unacceptable. Uh, watch video. On YouTube during a business hour. Mm -hmm. Good to oh. watch videos on YouTube or watching videos on YouTube. One okay. or the other, okay? During okay. office hours. Other example, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mayra, huh? answer, 
answer personal calls in a meeting? Yes, it is unacceptable actually to have your cell phone in a meeting. Wow. Is it a call and not attend good uh, the people? Again, Osmin, it is unacceptable. It's unacceptable uh, not attend. Not attending? Uh, attending the people. Attending when customers. Arrive. When they arrive. When they arrive. Uh, company, yeah. Excellent. Not attending the people, not attending the customers when they arrive in the office. Okay, good. Let's go back. Great job. Okay, so we just learned a different way of speaking, let's say. And I was giving you the examples in the groups when you can say it is on, is it on or in? On, okay. It is unacceptable, okay. Now I have two options. I can say it is unacceptable to have your cell phone in the meetings, for example. Or you can say, look at this, it is unacceptable to have, or it is unacceptable having your cell phone in the meetings. Okay, it is unacceptable answering, okay, personal phone calls, etc. So this is the like the structure, this is like the main thing. It is unacceptable. Now, how can you tell someone not to do this in a polite way? Okay, you can use the new model that we're about to see. So first, to put things in uh, on the go, we're gonna use should. Now, let's look at the following conversation and pay attention, okay? We're going to use another model, another model today, okay? I can't believe it. Listen, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either agree we should help him instead one more time one more time okay but please pay attention and try to repeat now ahora lo que voy a hacer es que voy a repetir y ustedes repiten solitos en su casita con los micrófonos apagados y después pueden revisar la conversación de nuevo. Les voy a dar un segundo entre cada oración y ustedes repiten ustedes solos, ¿ok? So let me see my face because this doesn't work like that. Ok, so. And spotlight this. There we go, that works better. Ok. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Did you see him? You're right. You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. 
He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is not polite. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. That's not polite either. Agree. Agree. We should help him. We should help him instead. Instead. One more time. Ahora, esto ustedes lo pueden revisar de nuevo y volver a repetir hasta que lo tengan. Y la siguiente parte es la que ustedes van a comparar. Habiendo repasado esa lectura, a ver cómo suenan. Se graban después leyendo esto de corrido y después comparan con lo que sigue. ¿okay? I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead. Okay. I need two volunteers. Me, teacher, Angie. Okay, Angie. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Who said me, teacher? Wait, wait. Dalia. Let, Dalia, thank Dalia. you. Let me unspotlight myself. Okay, Dalia, one, two, three, go. I can't believe it's Robert. It's Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Um, solo yo. No, no, no. Alguien más dijo me. Me o me. Okay, go ahead. Uh, you, nay, he should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely, that is no polite. He should answer his message after the meeting and we should not talk about him that's that's not polite, polite. Either. 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 either 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 yeah are we we should help him instead 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 okay good Good. We need to practice. Les he dejado esta parte. No sé, no puedo ver cuántos minutos llevamos. Si vamos con 44 minutos, se adelantan hasta el minuto 40 más o menos de la clase en el video. Y pueden ver esta parte. Escuchar, repetir, escuchar, repetir, hasta que lo tengan. Cuando ya sientan confianza, se graban leyendo todos, toda la conversación ustedes solos. Ok, en el teléfono. Y luego le pueden dar play con la siguiente parte, donde ya les leí entonando cada cosa, okay? Let's see, so let me choose someone here. What about Carla? Carla? Hola. And, man, Rafael. Okay. okay. So Carla is Claudia, Rafael is Raul. One, two, three, okay. go. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did yeah. you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. 
That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Good, okay. Y de manera general, los pronombres objetos se leen como e, e, estos en especial, estos dos en especial, los pronombres objetos. Si recuerdan esa clase, los pronombres son los que van al final de la oración. Sujeto sería este, ¿verdad? I, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan? You, sujeto, ok. ¿Se acuerdan de los adjetivos posesivos? Sí. Yes. <risa> Miren yes. todo lo que podemos sacar de esta conversación. His, aquí está otra vez his. Uh, ah, otra vez him, pero eso sería objeto. Yeah. Pronombre objeto. Ya no veo otro adjetivo posesivo como his yeah. phone. Ok. <coughs> So, eso se lee como et, cuando es pronombre objeto, no digo et. it, sino que digo et, pone oí, I can believe it, I can believe it, repeat, I can believe it, I can believe it, I can believe it, escuchen a Elvis Presley, I just can help believe it, ok, I can believe it, him, 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 uh -huh. no voy a him. decir him, did you see him? him. Have you seen her? Have you seen her? Tell me, have you seen her? Esa es otra cosa. Okay. Yes, <laughs> her. I you know it's not him. It's her. Okay. Him. Him. MC Did Hammer. You... MC, MC Hammer. MC sí, esa Hammer. versión. Esa versión me encanta. A mí esa versión de. Have you seen her? Okay. Did you see him? 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 Mm -hmm. Lo viste. Now, let's go with the, the next word. Este modal, ya lo vamos a explicar en detalle gramaticalmente. Mientras, la pronunciación, solo voy a quitar la O y la L y voy a decir should. 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 Eso sí, tengo should. que hacer énfasis en la D. Should. 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 María, María, quiero ver, quiero ver María. Should. Should. Vamos a soplar. Should. 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 Answer. 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 Alguien está diciendo answer. 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 Very good. That's better. Answer. Okay. Y la palabra messages. Lleva el estrés sobre me. Messages. 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 Good, Nelson. Messages. messages. No vayan a salir con mi, con mi suero. Saludos, suero. Que dice Messenger. Ábrame el, mes, ábrame el Messenger aquí. El Messenger aquí en el celular. Like, what? Messenger. Ok. Bien. Let's practice this conversation together. Make sure everybody practices, ok? We only have 10 minutes for this activity. Let's do it. I'm going to recreate the groups. Let's go. Page 31. Okay. What should we do? Practice. Uh, yes, practice the conversation. Um, who can share your screen? Oh. I'm going to my phone, but I can share it with you. Ya la comparto okay. yo. Acabo de abrir. Ah, vaya. Ok, Michelle. Sí, ya se las comparto. 
Ok. Eh, ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Me. Ok, I'm Raúl. Ok, I'm Claudia. Eh, I can believe it. Ro I can believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should, he should answer his message after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. Mama, That's okay. not polite Mama. either. Agree. We should help him. Help him instead. Okay. Cambiamos. Yes. I can I okay. can believe it. Wait, 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 wait. So okay. say should. Edwin. Should. Should. Ajá. Should. No es no es should, sino should. 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 It should Ex extender eh, el, el soplido, ¿no? Should. 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 Ahí, perfect, shoot. Shoot. Y la palabra messages. Este messages. lleva lleva el estrés en la primera sílaba. Messages. Messages. Messages, very good. Messages. Good. Messages. Y por último, eh, Surma, instead. Instead. Ajá, el estrés va en la, ahí en la instead. Good. Instead. Ok. Messages. Good job. Do it again. Okay. To his phone? Did you see him? You're right. She showed, she showed not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer uh, his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. Him that's not polite either. Agree? We should have instead. Instead. Ok, okay. Eh, bien, les okay. recomiendo muchísimo ver esa parte de la lectura. Y tu misión okay. debe de ser enfocarte en dónde está el estrés en la palabra. En cada palabra que voy leyendo cuando son bisílabas o trisílabas, ¿no? Por ejemplo, instead. ¿Dónde lleva el estrés? Instead. We should help him instead. Se lleva en la E, ¿verdad? Yes. It is in the E. So instead. Okay. Instead. Very good. For example, if you say should. Should. Con, yeah. Hay una diferencia entre S, H y C. H, hay una gran diferencia entre decir should a ah, should, oye, should, should, okay, should, there you go, should, that's right, okay, do it again, repeat again, should, 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 okay, next, repeat, Sure. Repeat the sure. conversation. Go ahead. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Sandrita. Okay. Again? Okay. Okay. No. Repeat okay. all the sentence. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh. And until instead. <laughs> I agree. We should keep him instead. We should? Him instead. Okay. Okay. ok, les recomiendo muchísimo a todos eh, uh -huh. ver el video nuevo, ver esta parte en la que estoy ahí como leyéndoles y por último la entonación 
la misión principal cuando ves palabras nuevas o, o esto, lees algo, ¿no? Escuchabas algo leído o ves algo leído. Es identificar dónde está el estrés. La palabra instead. ¿Dónde está el estrés? Instead. Instead. No estoy diciendo instead. Instead sería no. en in. Es instead. Ah, instead. Yeah. So it is here, right? Instead. instead. No mucha fuerza en la I. Instead. Instead. Ted. Instead. Ahí. Good, good, good. Instead. Very good. Ok. We should help him instead. We should help him instead. Ese him después ni se va a oír cuando ya hables de corrido. We should help him instead. We should help him instead. Help him instead. Help him. Help him. Ok. Instead. Y la palabra should. There is a difference. Hay una diferencia. Where's the pen? Where is the pen? Oh my God, wait. Hmm. Shoot. Where is the mouse? I'm sorry. One second. So, okay, there's a difference between the SH and the CH sound, okay? You don't say chud, uh -uh. chud, uh -uh. no. You say shh. Should. Should. Oh. Ok, yeah. si sentís que te cuesta extender el, son, el, el soplido, ¿no? El aire que sacas. Should. 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 Ahí está. Y solamente es una S, una H. Ahí vais a pensar, vea mi escritura aquí con este volado, pero mira cómo cuesta. Ok, should. Y la D tiene que ser bien estresada. Should. Mm. Should. ¿Cómo estreso la D? Saca should. la lengua, pone la lengua entre los dientes. Should. 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 Ahí está. Should. Perfect. Should. 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 He should not chat. He should answer. She should answer. She should not We should not talk. We should not talk. Should not talk. Should not talk. Por cierto, Rafa, es talk, 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 talk. Talk. Estaba diciendo talk. talk. Like, What? Yes, She'll talk. help. Okay, good. Okay. Whew. Do it again. Okay. Okay, one okay. last time. Yeah. Go, go. Okay. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. That's not polite. Uh, he should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. That's not polite either. Repeat, that's not, that's, that's not, not polite, polite either. 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 Okay, good. Agree. We should help him instead. 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 Yes. Good. Instead, the stress is high. Instead. Is and me? Okay. Okay, you have one minute. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I, I'm Claudia. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to, to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely, that is not polite. He should answer. 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 <laughs> he should answer. Repeat. He should answer. Sorry, sorry, teacher. It's okay. He should answer. His phone. His 
messages, messages. Af mm -hmm. messages after the meeting and we shall not talk talk about him that's not polite either good okay. agree we should help him instead him instead we should help him instead him, him. good him. good okay. good job let's go Okay, let's keep going. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. <laughs> Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Here. Angela de Jesús Santa María. Present, teacher. Thank you. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. I am here. Darwin Edgardo Ayala Leipa. Present, teacher. Fidel Coreas Pascual. I am here. Thank you. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Jose Ángel Pereira Romero. Es que Jose no ha regresado aún, está con su situación. Carla Vanessa García de Pérez. Se nos han podido unir tampoco. Ok. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. María Estela Varela Velázquez. Present. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Teacher. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Here, teacher. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Sandra, estaba por ahí. Sí, ya la vi. Okay. Present, teacher. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Aún no llega, Yancy. Eh, no, pero ya casi. Eso, eso. <risa> Edwin Rolando <risa> Méndez Chicas. Here, teacher. Excellent. Giovanni Alexander Mejía Rivera. And here, teacher. And Zulma Rosaura López García. Bien. Hi, okay. Para los que se acaban de unir. Hey, Vanessa, welcome. Okay, hablando de usted estaba, no, mentiras. A decirles, a recordarles lo que dije al principio de la clase IVA. Yo no llevo el control de esto, pero es como algo muy estricto de Insaform, el conteo de minutos por cada sesión. Se registra en Zoom, se saca un reporte y de ahí se cuadra al final de su módulo para que ustedes eh, completen la cantidad de horas necesarias o minutos, eh, más bien necesarios para cerrar el módulo. Ok, recordarles de la plataforma también, hay algunos que no han tocado la plataforma a este punto y esta es nuestra tercera semana, ya estamos en el ombligo de la tercera semana. Good, so let's continue. Questions, questions about the reading. Hay bastante vocabulario nuevo en esa lectura. Parece corta, pero hay varios, varias palabras que no conocía, tal vez, ¿eh? Instead. Instead. Ok. Uh, An example, polite. Ok, good. But let's go with instead first. I already told you instead, but en lugar de... I want... <laughs> Yes, in lugar de. I wanted to explain you in English, but it's okay. Okay, for example, um, I have to stop. Listen, I have to stop drinking coffee. No more coffee. Instead, I have to start drinking tea. 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 Yeah, tea, like Chinese tea. En lugar de té. <laughs> en lugar de café, uh -huh. instead of tea, instead of coffee, tea. Instead of coffee, mm. tea. It's like an alternative. Yeah, no, en lugar, en lugar de. de. 
Oh, en yeah, de, yeah. En lugar de instead. Ajá. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, la Patricia, you said something. Either. Um, polite. Polite. Oh, polite. Uh, being nice with someone. Having good manners. Y polite. Educado. De buenos maneras. Yeah, educado. Either. Okay. Either. Okay. Tampoco. Tampoco. Ahí está. Either. Tampoco. Okay. Either is tampoco. Sí. Yes. Ok. Educado. No es educado tampoco. ¿Ah? No, 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 no. That's not polite either. Eso no es educado tampoco. Ok. Ok. Eh, luego verán estas dos alternativas. Either y neither. Cuando llevo una N al principio, se ocupa muy similarmente. That's not polite either. Ok. Addicted? It's easy. Ok. <laughs> you have a cat, Carla. Oh my God. <laughs> That was weird. He's talking. He's talking like, give me food. Give me food. Ok. <laughs> Okay, so what is, <laughs> you scared me, me asustó. Okay, <laughs> behavior. <laughs> okay. Le tengo que poner una silla porque si no me quita la mía. En serio. Okay, solo que no la rompa. Okay. Se porta bien. Yo sí les corto las uñas a los míos. Ella está conmigo, ella está conmigo a todas las clases. Son tan lindos. Es un bilingual cat. Accountant. Es un accountant. ¿Cómo dices miau en inglés? Come on, miau. 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 No sé. Ok, guys. Let's see. So, look at the description. Behavior. Behavior. The way that someone acts in different circumstances, different situations. How do you behave? Let's, yeah, Edwin, help me with the example. Bigger. The example of, of, read. of what, teacher? <laughs> read. <laughs> How? Good behavior or bad behavior? Uh -huh. Okay, Edwin, read, please. Mm -hmm. uh, the company expects polite behavior from all the employees. From all the employees. Employees. Repeat. Employees. Empl employees. Employees. Mm -hmm. employees. Mm -hmm. Interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior. Perfect. Uh, mm -hmm. Gossiping. Gossiping. It's okay, teacher? Gossiping. Gossiping about gossiping. Uh, 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 gossiping. Okay. Gossiping. 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 Ajá, gossiping. Está en la o. Bien, hacemos una pausa. Espérame, Edwin. Eh, esto les he dicho mm. todos en los grupos pequeños. Cuando le das una nueva palabra, asegúrate de entender dónde está el estrés. Eso es crítico durante tu, sí. todo tu aprendizaje. Cada palabra nueva que aprendo, eh, si es posible, si de verdad quiero aprender, ¿eh? Ando conmigo una libretita, alguien me dice una nueva palabra en inglés, la anoto y le pongo el, el triangulito encima a la sílaba estresada. En este caso, ¿cuál es la sílaba estresada a todos? Gossiping. Go. 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 Y para evitar confusiones... Es para como la acento o la tilde. Ajá, que no existe en inglés. Muy bien, Melanie. Ajá. Ahora, para evitar confusiones... Después en la pronunciación, a esa O le puedes poner una O abajo y la subrayas, asegurándote de no decir gossiping, porque es lo común. Siempre que ves go, decís, ah, ahí se lee go. Gossiping. No, es gossiping. Gossiping. Okay. Gossiping. Gossiping is like chambrear. Gossip girl. Ajá. Uh -huh. no. Bicha chambrosa. Gossip girl. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Gossiping Ahora todo about tiene sentido. Uh -huh. 
Edwin, gossiping go. about co-workers. Okay. Gossiping about co-workers is rude behavior. Is rude behavior. Y lo que el teacher acaba de hacer también es estar interrumpiendo mucho cuando alguien está leyendo. That's bad behavior. Okay. Gossiping about co-workers is rude behavior. What is rude? Behavior. Rude. Then you know I'm human too. Grosero. Yep. Bad manners. Grosero. Mal educado. Okay, yes, Giovanni. Okay, comportamiento. Behavior. Yes. Comportamiento. Okay. So, what are we saying? The company expects polite behavior from all the employees. Be nice. Interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior. You keep talking and talking and the other person is talking to them. That's not good communication. Gossiping about co-workers is, is rude behavior. Okay. Que es muy común esto, eh? That is very common. Hablar de otros en el trabajo. That's not good. Okay. Now you need to discuss these questions with a partner. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your co-workers? Quiero que te imagines que acabas de llegar a una empresa. Es tu primer día. Okay. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? ¿Qué esperas? ¿Cómo esperas que sean tus compañeros contigo? Amables. Be nice. Nice. But how? How? Friend. Friendly. 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 Uh -huh. I expect friendly. them to be friendly. Uh -huh. I expect them to be That's, polite. And this is the, um, that is correct. That's the, that's the structure. I, you can use would I, to. I will to. Uh -huh. to I would to expect to them. Expect them. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Line. Let's see options. Let's use this. I would expect them. Cool. To be cool. To be polite. To be friendly. Okay. I will expect them to treat me. King. Kind. To kind. treat me kind. Uh, Good, uh, Melanie. To treat me kind. To talk to me. I will expect them to talk to me. <laughs> okay, yo esperaría que ellos me hablen, que me traten bien. I will expect them to... Um, what else? Tell me. To tell me. Tell me. Help. Oh, to help me. Yes. To help me. In my new my new job tasks my new tasks I mean nuevas tareas you're new it's your first day right okay good ah I will expect listen everyone I, okay but this is different I will expect everyone to like me. Hmm. Don't feel like about chick. <laughs> okay, I will expect negative. Okay, I will expect not to feel. Okay, I will expect them not to treat me like but <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Yo esperaría que ellos no me traten como pollo comprado. Ok. En realidad eso de pollo comprado en americano se dice, en inglés se dice rookie. Teacher, how do you say aprendiz? Rookie. Así, literal. How do you say, I'm sorry? Eh, romper el hielo. O sea, oh, break the ice. 
I will okay, expect yeah. them yeah. to break the ice. Excellent. I will expect them to break the ice. Good. So this is what you will expect from them. I'm gonna raise this. What do you expect when you're expecting? What to expect when you're expecting? <laughs> That's a movie, mm -hmm. right? Okay, mm -hmm. I'll send you these examples to your chat really quick. That they are not selfish. I will expect them not to be not selfish. selfish. I will expect them not to be selfish. Seguimos con eso, eh? I will expect them not to be selfish. Not to. Y luego se con el verbo en su forma base. Good. Not to be selfish or how do you say envidioso in English? Envy. Pero envidioso? Envious. 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 Selfish or envious. <laughs> envioso. Envioso. No. <laughs> envious. Envious. <laughs> because envy, okay, envy is envidia, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Like that? Check, check, check. Selfish teacher. Selfish. Eh, agarrados. Egoístas. Egoístas. Thank you. Egoístas. Mm -hmm. Or envious. Or envious. Cuando hay alguien nuevo es como que siempre te entra eso. Cuando si tú sos el, ojo, si tú sos el tenured employee employee okay ojo tenure tenured si tú, si tú eres el tenured employee eres el, el empleado ya con derecho de piso okay el que ya tiene el sello de el que ya tiene el sello de activo fijo en la, en la frente el que ya tiene el sello de activo fijo en la frente ajá si eres el que de mayor tiempo es normal sentir eso no como que este me va a quitar el trabajo Este bicho, este bicho sabe hasta todas las fórmulas habidas y por haber en Excel. Voy a ver. Y empezas a temblar. Ok, it's normal. It's normal. Jealous. Ok. To be jealous. Very good. Jealous. Excellent. Oh, sí. Y Rocky. Ya sabía que me había equivocado. Thank you, Rosalena. Rocky, 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 Rocky. Look for the pronunciation. Rocky. Y sigo poniendo eso. Rookie. No es Rocky como Rocky Balboa, es Rookie. Rookie. Uh -huh. yeah, rookie, thank you. Hey, pero ayúdenme, corríjanme. Ok, what are some rude behaviors your co-workers are not expected to do? Creo que ya abarcamos eso. ¿Cuáles son los comportamientos que eran rudos? Rudos. No. Pesados. Pesados. Maleducado. Comportamientos maleducado. pesados, maleducados, ¿ah? uh -huh. que tus compañeros no, eh, que esperas que tus compañeros no muestren o hagan. Uh -huh. yeah. Would you expect pranks? Yeah. Would you expect yeah. pranks on your first day? Would you expect pranks in your first day? Bad looks. Bad looks. That someone um, yeah, talk behind your back. Uh huh. <laughs> Gossiping about you. Burlarse. To be burlado. Burlarse. Oh, you say mock. Someone to mock, mock, at mock, you. mock at you. Mock at you. Mock at you. Mock at you. Check it, check it, check it. Gossiping. Gossiping. Mm -hmm. Mock at you. Gossiping about you. Or on your back. Que peor. 
And yeah, they usually do it on your back. Okay, yes, so these are bad behaviors. Let's move on. We need to use should and understand how to use should. Okay. So how to use should and should not. Let me check the lesson plan really quick. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we're doing good. Let's go with the grammar. Okay. Como les decía anteriormente, y espero que todos pongan atención, porfa, porque sí he notado que eh, varios se distraen. Yo sé que estamos en la casa y eso es lo difícil de estar en la casa. No estar en un salón de clases es, es la gran diferencia. Tenés un montón de distractores, que si hay zancudos, que si la mosca, que si pasó tu esposo enfrente de vos y va para el baño. <ríe> la esposa. Es sí, la sí, realidad. Es en nuestra realidad <risa> o que los bichos se están agarrando del pelo que el vecino le está gritando a la vez no, enfocate ahorita ok, bien, vaya eh, hay varios que tienen la cámara apagada so, si sí, les pido su ayuda en ese sentido necesito sí, sí. saber que están poniendo atención, it's ok so ayer hablábamos de qué? could what's the meaning of could, ¿Qué quiere decir could could Podría. Podría. Okay. ¿Qué Podría. quiere decir would? Would. No le importaría. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver quién lo agarró. Would, ¿Qué? por sí solo. Podría. Te importaría. Te importaría es would you mind? Would, you mind. would, you mind. would por sí solo would nada. Podría. Nada. Correcto. Ok, de nuevo. Podrías. podrías. Would, uh, uh, no, a ver, would significa por sí solo, ría. Es la, would agrega la terminación ría, uh, es decir, la improbabilidad, ría. el futuro incierto, a cualquier verbo. Ok, a cualquier verbo. Si yo digo, I will dance, I will dance. Yeah. Bailaría. 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 I will sing. Cantaría. Sing. Cantaría. Ok. Good. ¿Ves? Entonces, would va seguido de un verbo en su forma base. Todos los modales en forma positiva. Permítanme. Ok. Todos los modales en una afirmación van seguidos por un, base, un verbo en su forma base. Repito, todos los modales en afirmación, es decir, en una oración positiva, van seguidos de un verbo en su forma base. Por ende, por ende lo que veías ayer de would, mind, como mind significa importar, estaría diciendo importaría. ¿Oí? Mira, importar, ¿verdad? Importar, como ya está la R ahí, no la voy a duplicar. Ojo, importaría. Okay. Would you mind? Te importaría. Como es pregunta, would, auxiliar, you, sujeto, y luego viene el verbo, mind. Would you mind? Y después de would you mind, dijimos ayer, agregamos un verbo en ING para que no estén dos verbos conjugados en el mismo tiempo. Would you mind paying attention? <ríe> Would you mind paying attention? ¿Te importaría poner atención? <ríe> es un ejemplo. ¿eh? Okay. Okay. Yes. Hey, me faltó el you ahí. Would you mind paying attention? Ok. Good. Could, podría. Would, día. Probabilidad. 
futuro incierto, le llaman algunos. Let's go, we should. Ok. Should. Mucha atención para que mañana no me digan que esto quiere decir podrías también, ok. Should sirve para hacer sugerencias. Estrictamente para sugerencias. Incluso reflexivas. I should get on their weight. I should get on their way. Debería de ponerme a dieta. Debería. Aquí ya no es podrías. Ok. O solo orías. Es debería. Ok. Y sirve para dar sugerencias. O una orden. No. Sugerencias. No. For example. Okay. Let's look at the example. Look at the, vol the words in bold and complete the sentences below. Let's see. The guard should answer my good morning greeting. Can somebody help me? The guard should answer my good morning greeting. ¿Quién podría traducir eso? El guardia debería de responder a mi saludo de buenos días. Perfect. Otra vez, pinche, un poquito más fuerte. El guardia debería de responder a mi saludo de buenos días. Excelente. ¿Ves? Entonces debería responder ajá, a mi saludo de buenos días. Linda, a ver Nelson, Linda should greet with a firm handshake. Linda should greet with a firm handshake. Linda debería de darme... De saludar. Ah, de saludar con, con su mano. Con un firm. Con, ah, con un... Mano, un apretón de mano firme. Ahí estás. Ok. Handshake. Handshake. Saludo de mano. Con un saludo de mano firme. Ok. No así, ¿verdad? Que solo dan, hay mujeres que solo te dan las manos y los dedos y les terminas agarrando. Porque les Linda da miedo. debería de darme un saludo... Linda dar un saludo de mano firme. Linda debería Linda saludar. Debería Vaya, saludar. Quiero, que consideren, okay. quiero que consideren algo. Lo que sigue después del, del modal es un verbo en su forma base. Y un verbo en su forma base estaría conjugado en su forma principal, en su forma primaria. Eh, yeah. So, answer, answer, contestar. Read, leer. Greet, saludar. Use, usar. Say, decir. A ver, let's continue with the next one. The supervisor should use a greeting in his emails. Maria. El supervisor debería usar un saludo en sus emails. Perfect. Got it. Okay. And last one. You should say please when you ask for a favor. Osmin. Yes. You should say please when you ask for a favor. Lo que le digo diciendo a mis hijos. Debería de usar o preguntar. Vamos despacio. Vamos despacio. Parte por parte, Osmin. Tú... Uh -huh. You, tú, uh -huh. you use what? Okay, estoy Spanish. tratando de, de esperar que usted eh, comprenda, Osmin. So, vamos traduciendo. You, ¿Eh? vamos a, a traducir. Ajá, tú, muy bien, Osmin. Siguiente palabra. Should. ¿Qué dijimos que era should? Uh, should Ok, tú deberías. Muy bien, Osmin. Tú deberías. Ajá. Say. Decir. Decir. Please. Por favor. Por favor. When. Tú deberías decir. Ajá. When. Cuando. Cuando. You. Cuando tú. Ask. Preguntas. Uh, no solo preguntar quiere decir ask, ¿verdad? Quiere decir... Pedir. Yeah. Ok. Yeah. When you ask for. Ante todo, si va con for, os y todos. Ask for. Ask for. Cuando pides. 
A favor. Un favor. Un favor. Entonces, ¿qué dice Osmin? One, two, three. Tú deb deberías eh, pedir, de deberías hablar o pedirme. Mm, decir. Bueno, tú deberías decir, decir, por favor, cuando. Eh, cuando pides. Pides. Un favor. Very good. Good. Ok. Ok. He aquí la importancia de hacer tu tarea. Ok. Y entender, llegar a, a entender esto por inercia, con el tiempo y entre más rápido lo hagas, mejor. Mira, subject, el modal que estás ocupando, el verbo en su forma base y el complemento. Una afirmación. De nuevo. Eh, perdón, el complemento llega hasta green. De nuevo. Subject. Should. En este caso, un modal. Verb. Base form. Complement. Ok. Now let's go with negative. Vamos a hablar de las negativas. I have a subject. Tengo un sujeto. Y como en el 90% de las reglas gramaticales del inglés americano y de hecho el británico también, el auxiliar es el que lleva el not. Should not. Para negar. ¿Ok? Use. El verbo en su forma base de nuevo. And the complement. El complemento. ¿Ok? Si tú agarras esto rápido, rápido vas a hablar inglés. Porque no te vas a estar complicando. Ya sabes que en toda oración, positiva o negativa, yo voy a empezar con un sujeto. ¿Ok? Good. Y esto es importante, que tú lo aterrices ya. Porque ya cuando vayas a intermedio, ya no vas a tener el problema de estarte trabando con que, qué va primero, qué va después. Y ya cuando veas las formas, estructuras que no llevan sujeto, sino que el verbo se vuelve el sujeto, ya tu cerebrito ya estará acoplado a que hay un sujeto primero. Entonces va a ser más fácil, ¿ya? Desarmar y volver a armar esa estructura que ya tenés. Espero que captes eso, que lo apliques y hagas tu tarea todos los días, así como les he dicho, ¿eh? Eso es muy importante. Ok, questions, antes de seguirnos moviendo. Preguntas, necesito que me saquen tres preguntas. El que sea, que tenga una pregunta, aunque le parezca tonta, necesito que la haga ahorita. Let's go. Si no les hago berrinche, no me muevo. My sister should debería, mm -hmm. um, debería um, tell me the truth. Good. My sister should tell me the truth. Good. Truth. The truth. 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 Mira, tiene que bonito. Y esto es lo que hacen los bichos de hoy. A los bichos de no les está costando aprender inglés porque hacen eso, adecúan lo que ven y le van reemplazando las partes, lo que acaba de hacer María. Reemplaza el sujeto, puse should o should not, el verbo, dijo el teacher, ok, la, el complemento. That's it. Así, ok. Bien, ¿alguna pregunta? Questions, questions. Mm -hmm. Perfect question. Yes, you can do contractions. Si se pueden hacer contracciones. And you say shouldn't. Igual. N apóstrofe T. Y sí, lo que está haciendo Edwin. Ojo. Shouldn't. Ok, you say should, shouldn't. 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 Ok, shouldn't. 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 Oh, shouldn't. 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 Ok. Shouldn't. Any other question? I'm reading. You show for Permítame, antes de que entremos a ejemplos. Roselena tiene una pregunta. Sí, 
Yes, and within you should plus the infinitive form. The infinitive, no. La forma mm. base. Infinitive para usted but, y todos es tú. Ah, ok. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. No. Sure. Okay. Forma base. La forma okay. chulona, como dicen en un diccionario. Okay. Okay. Run, sí, run. Ajá. Uh -huh. Este, que usted decía que lo que pasaba con Chu era que le daba la terminación mm -mm. de posibilidad. No, no, no. Would. Eso es con would. Ah, could, uh, uh, should es deber, deber okay. en un debería. supuesto, uh -huh. en un supuesto, ajá, debería. Always. Siempre. Very good. Okay. okay, let's move on. So provide a suggestion about the next situations at work. Y aquí es donde se pone, bueno, esto, señores. Okay. Provide a situation about the next, I'm sorry, provide a suggestion Ojo, ¿cómo se escribe? Suggestion. Mm -hmm. Suggestion about the next situations at work. Tú tienes que dar recomendaciones. Ok. So, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. He never says please. Peter should ask polite requests. Peter should say Please, when he asks for something. Mm -hmm. So it's like, Edwin, bring me a coffee. Okay. What? Right? Y es, el, y, es el nuevo super, mira, y es el nuevo supervisor? Okay. No way. <laughs> Te va a caer bien, ¿no? Right now. Cinco cucharadas de azúcar. Okay, right now. Ya no, no da instrucciones, sino que órdenes, no hace uh, ese please, vea, ok. Tos, so, toscas. Es tosco, right. Ok, when Carlos is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. Shout, shout, ready or not. These are the things I can He do. should control his emotions. Come on. Excellent. He should control control his emotions. Okay, so you have three. Let me see. And then you have your turn. <clears throat> so let's see. Write three examples of good behavior and bad behavior in business meetings. Take turns role playing short conversations, expressing suggestions uh -huh. about those situations. So we only have 15 minutes, 17 minutes. So you can sure. create three examples. So number one, what should Carl do? What should my assistant do? And what should Lucy do? Give your expressions, I mean, your suggestions, give your suggestions about their behavior. And number two, write three examples of good behavior and bad behavior in business meetings, okay? Vamos a trabajar en equipos en eso. Preguntas? Questions? No? No? Questions? Good. We are on page 32. Page 32. Recreate the rooms. Okay, let's do it together. Come together right now. Over me. Hello, Edwin. Hi. Could you share Hi. the page? Hi. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> oh, you can. Yes, thank you. Thank you, teacher. I think car shouldn't shoot the uh, other sure, when she yes. is angry. Car shouldn't shoot the other when he is angry. Car no debería gritar 
are cuando él está enojado. Shouldn't? Should. Ah, sí, es verdad. Ay, ay, ay. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Sí, Ready or not? When to others? Shout to others. Talk others. To you. When, ah. when he is angry. Good, angry. good, good. Keep going. I see that when. Oh, Maria Stella. Yeah. I need you tonight from 10 to 10, 10. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I'm hearing. Great, okay. Okay. He's okay. He's mm -hmm. Okay, what's your suggestion for Carl? What is your suggestion for Carl? Control your... Hmm, he's... Vamos con el sujeto primero. ¿Quién sería el sujeto? Carl. Should... Carl. Carl should... And control his you his 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 mood his mood m o o d m o o d his mood mm. su temperamento o podría decir Carl should control himself Carl, Carl debería controlarse a sí mismo mm -hmm. Control himself. Himself. Mm -hmm. Control himself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, my assistant never use uh, a salud, salutation salud. in her emails. Never uses a salutation in her emails. <gasps> She, she never says, hi, boss. Good afternoon, boss. Dear boss. My assistant should use greeting in her email. Yeah, or salutations. Uh -huh. she, she'll ah, use, yeah. my assistant should use greetings in her emails. Perfect. Got it. Okay, keep going. Then we go with three examples of good behavior and bad behavior. Okay. In my days, we never put the topic in the emails. Yeah, we never put uh, mm, salutation is um greetings. Yeah, but for example, in your case, in Spanish, dear, just... dear boss. Oh no, no. I'm sending you this email. <laughs> No. <laughs> when you say saludos cordiales, no. Yeah. No, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it? That's formal. No. no. Me too. In email, no. in email writing, that's important. No, no, yeah. I in my case, I think in my case, mm -hmm. I think when someone uh, put saludos cordiales is um Oh, you mean at the end? Yeah, yeah, oh, at the end. Yeah, at the end, no, no. No, at the end. No, at the end. No, at the end. No, at the top. Oh, but, but saludos cordiales in English is best regards. Yes, but mm -hmm. in Spanish, when someone at the office put saludos cordiales, I think that is hypocrite. 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 Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I, I mm. feel. <laughs> I don't know. Only use good, uh, good day. Mm. Have a good day. I only say thanks. Mm. I write an email and I, and I say thanks. <laughs> How do you say atentamente? Mm. Yeah, there are, we will see that. Maybe, maybe my emails are um, not are to aren't are inside inside the the company Between, oh actually yeah. the next the next topic is about emails how to write ah, professional okay. emails ah, <laughs> okay. okay 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 i i was talking about the the third the third the third, yeah, the third. Okay. my assistant never uses oh, the yeah. salutation mm -hmm. Okay. But a salutation. She never salutation. says, dear yeah. Rosalina. Yeah. And the assistant, the assistant should use a greeting in her emails. She should. Yeah, she should. Yeah, it's a suggestion. Mm -hmm. But more, uh, for yeah. example, well, he, he shared, que, what is, uh, for example, but about the email, what bear is correct or I should use? What verb should I use to, to do For one? Example, in this is, is the letter is right. Uh, for example, she, uh, yo no puedo escribir la, escribir en los emails, no, si no sería como que colocar o poner. Mm, type? O digital o, Type. Oh, type. Type. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. The type an, but you, you can also say, write an email, to write mm -hmm. an email. Write an email. Yep. Okay. Type an the email, mm, type an email. The, the assistant writes an email. The assistant types an email. Eh, write, in that case. To use a, a salutation, for example. Dear boss. Good morning, dear boss. Good afternoon. Um, good afternoon, Rafael. Good I wish, <laughs> wish, I wish. That's your boss. <laughs> oh, I hope, oh, I hope your know. day Yes. Actually, we will yes. learn. We will learn that tomorrow. How yes. to write a professional email? Don't be. Don't sound hypocrite. Yes. How do you say? Uh, deseo que el día esté lleno de éxito. Hoping your day is full of success. Hoping your day is full of success in all of your activities. <laughs> Wishing you that, many blessings and all your family. That it's, that it's, I think that it sounds like a letter. Yeah, and that's not a letter. That's right. Yeah, On email, you go straight to the point. But yesterday, I, I got an email. I got I got an email? And, yeah, I got an email. And the the, the person write, uh, wrote. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Good morning. Have a... Have a nice no wishing you having a good day. <laughs> and I say that. <laughs> I know no. Yeah, they do that though, usually. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going, keep going. You're missing one, and we need to give three examples after this, okay? Three. Yeah, look at the bottom. Move down. Rafa. Oh, the good behavior. Yeah, okay. scroll down right. and yeah, there. Write three examples of good behavior and bad behavior in business. Meetings. Oh, in business meetings. What to do and what not to do. What you should do and what shouldn't do. What you shouldn't do. Okay. Siete no dijo que o son los mismos tres ejemplos o esos son individuales. No, that's different. No, I say. Read. Read. It says write three examples of good behavior and bad behavior in business meetings. In a business meeting, you are with the boss and all the employees. What is a good behavior? What is a bad behavior in a meeting? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. For example, in 
empat uh, eh podría ser should not get out at during moment in the uh -huh. you shouldn't get out get out mm -hmm. at every moment in the meeting during the meeting during during the meeting durante la reunión uh -huh. you shouldn't get out of the meeting of the meeting during of the meeting i'm sorry you shouldn't get out every time or frequently you shouldn't get out frequently during the meeting you shouldn't get out frequently during the meeting Okay. Very good. It. Angela. It should. Oh. It should. I see. You shouldn't. I do. Get out. Oh my God! It's all caps. You shouldn't. Get out of. The meeting. No, 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 no. You shouldn't get out frequently during the meeting. Like that. You shouldn't get out of get out frequently during the meeting. You shouldn't get out frequently during the meeting. Okay. Thank teacher, you, teacher is correct. Is Michael it could work? Is Sorry. It, uh -huh. Is it correct? No, no. O other, uh, uh, my example. Uh -huh. uh, my coworker shouldn't go late in at meeting the work. Arrive. Shouldn't arrive late. Late. Okay. Okay. My coworkers shouldn't arrive late to the meetings at work. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back. It's almost time to finish. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, we're all back. So that was easy. That was very simple. Now let me let me go with the COVID COVID advices. Let's give some COVID advices. Now that this is the new this is the new normal. Do you remember that Siri? This is the new normal the new normal for every every one of us this is the new normal um so let's use common phrases with should advices common suggestions for example you should wear your mask you should wear your mask okay give me another one you should you Alcohol. Alcohol mm -hmm. help. Alcohol help. Alcohol. Mm -hmm. alcohol. 
alcohol. Oh my God, dyslexia. Alcohol, gel. Is that right? Yeah, alcohol gel, okay. You sure uh, say distance? Keep, keep okay. social distance. Keep social distance. Very and good. You, you should, should wash your hands frequently. Frequently, very good. You should wash your hands frequently. You should, you should, uh, you should use shower when arrive. Mask. Good, that's mean. Keep, keep thinking. Keep thinking. Uh huh. You should use. You use should use a mask. Face mask. It's, it's on the top. You should wear your mask. Uh huh. Osmin, you should take a shower. Take a shower. Shower when I arrive in my home. When getting back home, let's say. When wearing. Getting, getting back, back home. home. Okay. Home. You should sanitize yourself. You should use alcohol gel frequently. Mm -hmm. It's on the top, yeah. You should use mm -hmm. alcohol hell frequently. Teacher, uh -huh. You should not take off the max. Oh, yes, you should. <laughs> shouldn't take off your mask in public. 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 And I'm going to add one more. You should you over. You your nose when you sneeze. You shouldn't go to the beach. You shouldn't go to the beach. You shouldn't go to the beach. You should go to the doctor if you feel sick. Okay, guys. This is a very interesting topic. How to give advices. Porque para dar consejos somos buenos, pero para hacer caso. Para cumplirlos. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Hey, ¿qué pasa ahí? Cash no. <laughs> Envié el mensaje anterior a otro grupo. Okay, guys. Bien, uh, we're done for today. Me voy a quedar con María. Permítanme pasar el listado, por favor. Just a minute. Okay, oops, I was sharing the screen. Oh, <laughs> okay, oops. Good. Se me olvidó que estaba compartiendo la pantalla. Good, guys. So, let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Darwin Edgardo Ayala Leiva. Present teacher. Fidel Coreas Pascual. I am here. Thank you. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present teacher. Thank Good you. Night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good night teacher. Good night. José Ángel Pereira Romero. Carla Vanessa García de Pérez. Present. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. María Estela Varela Velázquez. Present. Thank you. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Good Ofelia. Good night. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Good teacher. Thank Good, night. You. Good night. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here. Thank you. Good night. Oselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Here. Good night. Good night. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Good teacher. Good night. Good night. Giovanni Alexander Mengiva Rivera. 
And Zulma Rosaura Lopez Garcia. Present. Thank you. Good night. Okay, okay, okay. Good. María Estela, primera vez que se acá conmigo, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Ok, este espacio es para usted, que me diga cómo se siente en la clase, qué es lo que durante su aprendizaje le ha resultado como un dolor de cabeza, que siente usted y cada vez que lo prueba o, o llegamos a ese punto de la clase, usted se queda en la luna, lo que usted me quiera decir. Ok. Eh, eh, realmente yo siento que este mi Open May <ríe> con su estilo de, de, de dar la clase, porque... Eh, sí, ha sido una gran presión porque como que venía acostumbrada bien tranquilita los primeros módulos, solo gramática, casi no participar. Eh, no por el profesor, sino que yo no lo hacía, pero como que con usted la presión es más mm, de hablar. Entonces yo creo que no, para mí ha sido, eh, creo que he, he aprendido en este módulo bastante. Eh, he comprendido, eh, me ha costado pero el que no hable mucho español usted es como que eso me o entiendo o entiendo y lo que no entiendo lo tengo que ir a investigar o tengo que buscar eh, realmente yo creo que sí he avanzado ya lo que no es porque quizás el tiempo no lo hacemos para aprendernos eh, la fórmula de, de, de cómo eh, eso pero o los verbos pues en su pasado o que se le agrega es lo único yo siempre Pero, les hago la, la misma pregunta en estas sesiones de 10 minutos. Eh, ¿Qué estoy haciendo? ¿Qué, está, ¿Qué estamos haciendo para practicar? Aparte de la clase, ¿qué, qué más hace María Estela fuera de, de la clase? Eh, pues sí, este, me pongo a buscar este, la interpretación, porque si trato de buscar, que, para entender, me pongo a buscar qué significan las palabras. Uh -huh. Porque a veces hay mucho vocabulario que es nuevo. Y si yo vengo aquí a la clase y no lo averiguo antes, es un problema. Entonces trato de averiguar el vocabulario y aún de, de intentar pensar, pensar este, en inglés. Los ratitos que puedo este, formularme las preguntas o algo así. Eh, realmente trato de hacer un poco de tiempo para... ¿Cuánto, para... Tiempo, ¿cuánto tiempo le dedica al inglés fuera de la clase? Quizás en el día lo más una, una hora. ¿Una hora? Una hora. O sea, ya sí. estrictamente por disciplina esa hora es para María Estela y se sienta María Estela a estudiar. Sí, como quizás media hora cuando vengo al trabajo y lo, el resto lo hago así en... en, en, en Durante la clase, ya. Sí. Okay. No, en el trabajo, o sea, el cuando trabajo. me queda mi tiempo, sí. Uh -huh. Pero eh, para mí el método así como lo da es bueno, bueno, buenísimo. De hecho, no, usted es la que está haciendo algo, créame. Porque muchas personas, de hecho, solo vienen a la clase y pasan lo que usted dice, callados. Y por más que uno les ruegue y hablen, así como estuvo ayer la clase, por ejemplo, que todos andaban bien, es que ayer, apagados. Creo que ayer todos, este, no sé, ayer todos. Pero, sí, pero. Bien este, cansados. Sí, yo creo que fue un día duro y quizá es mejor el, este día para todos. Eh, pero, pero sí, para mí ha sido muy bueno este módulo. Eh, sí. Siento que este, me estoy atreviendo pues a, a hablar un poquito más y, pero está en nosotros también el poner otra parte fuera de la clase, en otro tiempo para, sí. para poder avanzar pero usted, sí. usted va súper bien, a mí me llega que usted participe, que se suelte y, y se sienta en la libertad de de dar su opinión, de dar sus ejemplos, eso me llega. No Super crea, bien. en la primera semana ya me iba a correr. <risa> no, sentí la presión de que hay unos que pueden más. Entonces, no, no yo lo sentí al inicio, uh -huh. pero dije, bueno, o sea, ellos pueden más, pero yo tengo que seguir porque voy a aprender algo en, el, en este módulo, tengo uh -huh. que avanzar y nos sí. quedamos. Ya estamos para el otro, ¿verdad? Sí. No sé si ya, ya les había dicho como esa clave de la dieta, de cómo llevar la dieta para memorizarse los verbos poco a poco. Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Cómo, eh, sí, de cómo escoger el verbo, es unos cinco verbos. Cinco y palabras. empezar a hacer interrogaciones en el pasado. En el... Bueno, no. O sea, eh, realmente todos los tiempos hablar. gramaticales que usted vaya viendo de ahora en adelante, 
Vaya aplicando eso, positivo, negativo, pregunta. Ya. El mismo verbo, la misma eh, complemento. Fórmula. Y ahí voy, Excelente ahí voy. Fórmula. ¿Por qué? Porque sí. mi cerebro captar información en, en, en contexto. Así como decía sí. una, una alumna por ahí, es que mire, yo todos los días me dicen una sesión, todos los días, viera, yo me clavo cinco verbos, me los meto en la cabeza, se la fuerza, y yo le digo y se le quedan de verdad. Sí, uno o dos días, pero después siempre me la práctica, o sea, pero, pero eh, también la gramática, no, por eso no hablaba al inicio, porque no sabía cómo usar el DIR, o uh -huh. sea, y, y decía, ¿y cómo? Y entonces todo esto, yo creo que también la base, la gramática nos da seguridad para poder hablar. Eso, eso es lo que el les decía dominar, ahora, es como, mi cerebro, es como aprender a manejar. Lo ya mismo. después es automático. Inercia, sí, o sea, mi, sí. cuerpo, mi, mi cerebro va guiando los músculos y todo, es lo mismo. El cerebro no le va... puedo decir que hay algo que no haya entendido porque sí lo he entendido. Lo que necesito es quizás este, poner más para practicarlo fuera de la clase. Uh -huh. Y meterle más a los verbos, los verbos, porque si no tengo vocabulario, pues es corto mi, 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 mi plática, porque no, no, no me aprendo los verbos. Sí, sí, no, pero eh, definitivamente eso de la dieta es lo que más le voy a recomendar. Entonces, si su meta es agarrar vocabulario, dos cosas: eh, siempre estar atenta a lo que me rodea, a, lo, a la cotidianeidad. Esto hasta le va a cambiar la vida. A mí me la cambió porque empecé a fijarme más en mi entorno que era lo que tenía alrededor a diario, ¿sí? Incluso a veces sentí que era demasiado monótono la cosa, me iba para otro lado y miraba otras cosas, hacía otras actividades para cambiar mi rutina cuando estaba pequeño y, y entender como que todo, todo, todo lo que me rodea, y lo digo en español, lo puedo decir en inglés. Entonces cuando yo me forzaba, porque yo como solito aprendí, me presionaba de una manera, yo solo, y ahora he tratado de entender cómo era que lo hacía. Ahora entiendo que lo que hacía era presionarme de esa manera, tomaba nota, ok, no sé cómo decir purgar, ok, después allá cuando tenía un chancecito me iba al diccionario, lo buscaba, perch, y lo ponía, claro, ya no podía pronunciar bien, no había internet en los noventas, pero tiene una pronunciación muy buena, y lo logré por practicar, después en el 2005, desde el 2005 estoy en call centers, y antes de eso, ¿sabe qué hacía? Cada vez que veía un gringo, una gringa o alguien que hablaba inglés, me ponía a hablar. No me importaba que se rieran o algo. No, jamás, sí y gracias a, a Dios, jamás lo hicieron. Fíjese que gracias a Dios nunca nadie se rió de mí. ¿Sabe qué sí me pasó? Conocí una sueca. Trabajaba en el cine Reforma yo. Conocí una sueca y yo me enamoré cuando la vi. Ahí parada en, en la taquilla. Claro, la mujer toda eh, no andaba quemada que es lo típico de una gringa, ella no andaba quemada, andaba bien vestida, hasta con vestido negro, y me atreví a hablarle, y me contestó, una hora pasamos hablando, y al final me dio su correo electrónico, porque el día siguiente se iba y no sé qué, me dio su correo y se fue, erica.molina, no sé qué, se llama, vio Erika Molina, qué raro, una sueca con nombre de latino, bueno, le escribía las semanas, en el messenger en aquel entonces, ¿verdad? Y resulta que no era de ella el correo, <risa> pero fue una experiencia sí, yo, yo feliz porque logré hablar pues, no, o sea. para mí es nuevo porque realmente mi, mi, mi trabajo, yo tengo una tienda pues o sea, yo más que todo es hablar de normalidades uh -huh. y para mí es nuevo todos los términos de todos los compañeros porque ellos hablan de sus funciones eh, en, en el trabajo y todo. Sí, y para mí no, para mí es así, hablar con la gente eh, que si le gusta el país, la comida, o sea, porque son sus venir. Si se eh, fija, ah, yo trato, trato de que ustedes hagan sus ejemplos como quieran. No me clavo sí. tanto con lo del de, el vocabulario técnico. Eso me pasó porque yo dije, ay, no, yo quizás no voy a, no voy a poder porque <risa> ellos sí se enfocan en su, en su vocabulario, ¿verdad?, de su trabajo. Uh -huh. Pero, pero bueno, dije, le, aún les dije, cámbienme, pero después dije, no, porque la verdad es que si la base es esta, lo demás yo lo pongo. Eso, o sea, eso me llega. O sea, el estudiante, mire, eso, cualquier curso de inglés, puede ser muy bueno el curso de inglés, pero si el estudiante no se aplica. Nada funciona. Eso, nada sí, funciona. Sí, sí, sí. 
Ok. Así que estamos bien, o sea, yo me siento eh, no satisfecha porque tengo que dar más, pero sí he avanzado. Me agrada escuchar eso. Bueno, estoy a la orden. Cualquier cosa, escríbame si tiene alguna duda con algún verbo, lo que sea. Escríbame y cuando más pueda yo le contesto. Oye. Ok, gracias. Y, y descanse. No sé. Lo no, mismo sí. para usted. Sí, <risa> sigo aquí. Good night. Bye bye. Bendiciones. Bendiciones.